Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and I'm doing back-to-back -back videos today trying to get through my piles over there of stuff that we've just picked up in the last probably month or less. It's just kind of been piling up. Y'all know last month was a little bit rough for us so stuff just didn't get done as quickly as I had hoped. But we're on track now. I'm going to try to get a whole bunch listed this week um, and I've got I've got cute stuff to share so let's go ahead and get through a couple of bags and then um i'll try to get these videos out this week we're trying to be more current with our videos all right first item most of this was from i think an estate sale a couple of them just based on what i'm seeing in the bags and the price tags that's how i normally can tell this, I'm pretty sure, was half price day. I've been trying to stay away from the estate sales um, when they first start, except for the one that we go to on Wednesdays because their prices are amazing. But some of these bigger companies that we follow, I'm trying to say no because I'll end up buying things that probably will still be there on the half price day. So, so this was from half price. This is so cute. It's a little Christmas... Um, looks like a votive holder it says white barn candle company I'm not sure but I paid a dollar fifty for it and it's in excellent condition I'm hoping maybe like ten to twelve dollars for it my hair is driving me nuts y'all I gotta get a haircut these bangs it's got the fair faucet wave wings going on and it's just all over my face all right this is vintage Walmart Definitely needs a bath, which unfortunately a lot of these vintage um, tags for Walmart, they do fade when they get washed, but very cute. A lot of these, I'm probably anywhere between $15 and $30 a lot of times, depending on like if I get this clean. This, I wasn't going to pick them up at first because as you can see, they just kind of seem a little yellowed. I'm going to try to maybe soak them in some OxyClean, but they're Department 56. I don't know if I've had these before. They kind of are like the um, non puff a lump, puff a lump type um, plush, like the nylon. But if I can get them clean, I'm hoping like 20 bucks for them. And I did pay a dollar for the set. This intrigued me. I did pay ten dollars for it but I just I don't know somebody had an original price on here of eighty dollars trying to see oh there's a stamp back here but of course I'm not gonna be able to see it I'll try to see if you guys can see it but I'm just gonna have to do some more research maybe Robert can take a picture of it and try to increase it not my thing normally Jimmy fingers crossed let me see is it gonna work so he works says he's a sidestepper very cute I'm hoping 15 to 20 dollars for it I bought a lot of neat stuff neat these let's see unfortunately look but I'm gonna try there's a original price sticker over the original like cellophane tag it says 1997 possible no oh look here we go Get the bifocals on, people. Bifocals. All right. Now we're good. Possible Dreams. Made in Taiwan. 1990. But just look how cute. Oh, now I can't see. I paid... $2 each for them. But they're like that um, 
The body seems hard-ish, but then it's the paper mache type skirts. I know there's another word for it, but I'm hoping these are treasures. More plush. This is Kids of America. Cute little rabbit. Very clean. I've not had this before, but I'm hoping like $15 for it. And then this was $2.50. It's a plaza. Little so snowman on skis. His name is Snowy on skis. Just thought it was adorable. I'm hoping like 15 or so for it. Robert's trying to look that up, so I'm holding on to my plush here. Tell what you tell me, dear. Mm -hmm. This is a dollar. Not quite sure what's happening with the baby here. Oh, look, you guys. Probably shouldn't have done that, right? Look! It's a musical. I paid a dollar for it. It is by Mama and Baby's Musical Snowman, North American Bear Company. How is that? All right, another dollar. This is Wish Pets. His name is Snowflake. Probably bread and butter. It looks like the mark my teeth makes when I bite into a starburst. <laughs> you can't figure it out? It looks like it says RW. RW. What about the other one? The other that mark. Even, that was even, even that, worse. That's even oh. more like my teeth marks in a... All right. Anybody recognize that gray and blue Santa? I, I did, when I did Google Lens on him, that guy... He looks like row pottery work stuff to me. Oh. Now, like this. Oh. Right. And I'll see if I can see more pictures of it. But you keep talking. I'll see what the what their pictures look like. But if it's the row stuff, then they sell for. 80 or 100 bucks. At least that's, that's what, what they're thinking. listed for. That's what I'm thinking. That's my goal right there. Wishful thinking, but nevertheless. Okay, this is Baby Gund. It says Santa's Fire Truck Playset. It does have little figures on the inside. Just cute. I'm thinking still bread and butter, like 10 or $12. And then this. I'm hoping that it works. I did pay, let's see. Let's see your feathers. It's by Kirkland, but it says Christmas Fantasy. Blue Ridge Designs. It's got my name on there, but I don't remember how much I paid. I want to say it was like $5, but it would have been half price. So, but I think a lot of these animated Santas can do really, really well. I'll have Robert check this one also, just so that we know. My guess, 35 to 50, but we'll see. And this intrigued me. It is like red, you guys can see glass. I paid a dollar for it. I have a feeling it's been flashed. I oh, don't know. I'm seeing stuff. Some marks. But all in all, I think it's in really good condition. Probably an ashtray. I'm hoping, you know, $20 or so for it. But it does need a good cleaning. Alright, so when I look closer at the row pottery works, they've all got a nice row pottery works mark on it. Mark so on it. this might be some sort of knockoff. Kind of like when you thought I was going to be a good husband and once we signed the paperwork, <laughs> found out I was a knockoff. This was the estate sale that Robert used one of my pictures that I sent him that had all the little people um, sets. Um, I think it was the background in one of my recent videos. But they had all of their little people sets, like buildings alone, $75. So even at half price, I wasn't going to pay that. Um, 
I didn't. I didn't use that picture. Oh, you didn't. Oh, no, we I were gonna it use it. In fact, I'll have Robert stick that picture in here just to show you. That's what got me there, but it made me not go till the half price day because I knew they were gonna be up there. I just did not know the prices were gonna be that bad. Um, but there were several sets that I would have loved to have had, but I wasn't gonna pay, you know, thirty, forty, fifty dollars for it. But they did have this, so I paid five dollars for it. It says it's Mattel, and I don't remember the date, but don't know if it's complete. But when you opened it up, it did have the tracks and some of the trains that went with it. I want to say this is, yeah, 1980. So if nothing else, I may keep it together, but I might want to price out each piece to see if I can sell it as replacement replacement pieces. I want to say I paid two dollars for this. I'm not quite sure why this side is all different color but you can just see the quality but look when you open it up. There's another canister in there and then there's Salt and pepper shakers, which there is a writing on the bottom. I think it says woodpecker something Japan. And then ooh, there was another block, another canister, and the lid for it. So three canisters and the salt and pepper shaker all included in this. And I just think... It's amazing. This is a Lauer water baby, and I'm pretty sure it's from the 90s. They have more current ones, and if you can find them in like the Disney costumes, those are definite bolos. Yeah, this one's 1990. It is one of the larger dolls. It does have its original outfit, which is a good thing. I'm thinking probably about $20, $25 for it, and I'm pretty sure I paid a dollar for her. But they have this back. Make sure when you buy them, you don't do what I did. So now I'll have to show you guys. Look, a lot of times you need to check this to make sure that it hasn't dry rotted, which this one has. So it won't be a loss because I'll sell the outfit. What? It's just glued in there. It is, and I mean, I probably somebody, could try to glue it back. Somebody glue that back in there with some sort of And glue. I may, I may. I haven't sold these damaged before, but I have learned my lesson that some things will sell that are damaged. So I'll do some more research. We'll see. I paid 50 cents for this. Watch out for these. This is Tupperware, and they're the stencils. Now, if you can find the stencils in their cases... It's much better. I don't always, I found the cases a couple of times. Usually it's a yellow one, but I think there are other colors. But this is a set of, I'm trying to see, two, four, six, eight of the Tupperware stencils. They're all gonna be different. These are probably about maybe $20 or so for this many. I, I think you could probably try to sell them separately so that somebody who's trying to find pieces that they don't already have, it would work. But more than likely, I'll list this for probably $20 or $25. Just let it go. Here's a puzzle. We paid $3 for it, but Ravensburger is a really good brand. Nice, high quality, and it was sealed. I don't remember what the comps were for it, but here. Kind of reminds me of like a Picasso or something. But it says high fidelity masterpieces. So it, it might be some famous artist. I did pay $5. I got three of these. This is Vincent Van Gogh. Oh, there we go. Cafe. Since I can't pronounce it right, I'll just be my Missouri self and say Cafe Teresi Am Abend. Okie doke. I did pay $5 for these. I could not find anything on eBay at the moment when I purchased them. 
But y'all know me. I love Christmas around the world. These do not appear to have been used. The little sticks are still covered in plastic. But it's just like a little hanging tapestry for Christmas time, but like a quilted piece. I'm hoping maybe $15 to $20 for each. This intrigued me. It is Cuddle Wit. It says $3, but again, I don't know if it was full price day or not, because this one's been, it was half price because I remember paying $5 for those quilts. So this was f half price too. It does have batteries in it that have been corroded. Don't store your Christmas stuff with corroded batteries. So I don't know if it'll work, but it looks like it's like Monchi Chi or a knockoff of Monchi Chi. Christmas. I think no matter what, if it works, perfect. I'll probably list it for maybe 40 or so, but if not, I still probably list it for about 20. Just more plush. Paid $250 for him, but I have to save the vintage plush. Not sure who made this, but I thought it was adorable. His thread on his mouth is moved, but otherwise, there we go. He's smiling pretty. These are Russ. I think they hung because there's a little hanger here. Just says together forever. I paid $250 for it. I don't mind paying a up a little bit for the vintage stuff at estate sales. You know, I'll be happy if it was less, but I don't mind. This is Walmart. Loved it. it says, hug me. Probably $20, $25. This is Gerber products. I have a couple of these, I think, listed in different colors. I want to say probably my bread and butter, 12 or so dollars. More monkeys. Not sure if I had them this video or the last. This still has its original Toys R Us sticker. I paid $2.50 for it. It is Soft Classics from Jeffrey. Probably still 15 or so. All right. This is a Robert find. Looks like these were a dollar each. Chicken soup and chili dishes. Not sure. They're different. Um, one's porcelain and one says something HF. Houston something. I can't read it. But I'm glad he'll be packing all of these. She's saying they're my fine because... Well, okay, well, I found them, but after I got them, she said, you know, those aren't worth very much, right? But when but, I looked them up, they right. were like 12 to $15 each, if I remember correctly. Well, we'll see. I haven't checked them. And maybe they are at this point. Here's another mushroom soup recipe. Another. They're very nice. Maybe. If they're not worth a whole lot, I may end up putting them over in our booth. Look how cute. I had to pick them up. Because look, Oshkosh. And then this t-shirt. You can tell it's vintage. It says Spencer's. Got me a shirt in Florida. I'll probably list these together. I'm not sure. I think they charged me 50 cents each. So, you know, even if I can get 15 or $20 for that, that's cute. This, I remember grabbing this. This says Ebert Sportswear. Definitely vintage. I don't normally show you guys clothes, but it was mixed in here with it. But nylon, built in the USA Magnavox. There was a Magnavox factory here years ago. Oh, so people, this probably people, person worked there. A lot there. of people here worked at Magnavox. Magnavox, they, I think there was another TV. Was Phillips here? I don't Phillips know. might have been here too, but when I moved here, they were saying that I think they might have already been closed down by then, but they had TV manufacturing factories here. Yeah, when I moved in this area, there was a Levi's factory here, I guess before they sent it all over. It was already closing down, um, but I remember I worked for a temp agency and 
we had to call to confirm their employment. So, but yeah, lots of old factories in this area. I showed you guys one of these recently. I don't know if it's specifically Dixie. This one says London Ware, which is a good thing. So now I can go change my other listing, but I found this in the bathroom along with this. Yep, it's like this. Look, a little mirror. Look, there's Robert. There he is. Flip it over. There we go. Ooh, it's dirty mirror, though. It's a different size Robert head there. Yep. There we go. I don't know. I paid two fifty for the set. I, I'm hoping maybe $30, $40. I may keep them separate. I may put them together. I don't know yet. But now I know that this is London wear because it says it right there. I'm back here trying to break it. I guess. But I caught it with my foot before it hit the floor. Look, I paid two dollars for it. It's got fuzzies on there. But World Gift, Japan, not quite sure what the HK is. And then I think there's three of these. I've done really well with these vintage, what are these called? Meat grinders, vegetable slicers. It's these, like this particular one, I think is town craft. And I've got the bases and all the little parts in here. This one was salad master. And they were each $6 for the sets. Here's like the little bases for each. And they all come with these. I'll have to figure out which is which. And this was one household. Why one household would need three of these? I'm not quite sure. And then here's another one that was by Towncraft. I want to say I've sold these in the past anywhere from like $40 and up. In fact, I think I sold one that was over $100 and shipped it to Italy. No clue. It was $2.50. It says Old Christmas Bear Mohair, which that's big, but it's Martin Herman, H-E-R-M-A-N-N, -N, made in Germany. And it, look at this box. Oh, I'm going to have to keep it in the box. Looks like they bought it originally. That looks like, I don't know, kind of looks like, like TJ Maxx or something. But originally it was $200 and they paid $99.99 for it. But I've heard of Herman. I've never had one before. Look. $2.50. Come on, be, be a $100 bear. That would be nice. All right, two more things. I had to pick it up. I've been picking up a lot of Lamax. Don't know. This is from 2013, so not even vintage. I'm trying to see how much I paid. I paid $7.50 for it. But I thought it was adorable. It says it's the winery building. I don't know. I'll try to have a comp for you while Robert's still investigating the Herman Bear. This is Madame Alexander, and this is Hol Holiday Eloise Cloth Doll. Now she's got a little spot on her nose. I'm not, not sure what I'm going to do about that because I'm not very good at cleaning these dolls, her face is covered in a fabric. You just really don't want to mess too much with that. So I may take a hit a little bit in the price. Now I just sold a different one of these dolls, not a Christmas version, for $46. But if you look in comps, there's other people who have sold it for $10, $15. So again, just a reminder, make sure you check your comps thoroughly because some people settle on their prices when you don't need to. 
Now, I think I saw, I don't know if it was the same size. It kind of looked like it might be a smaller version of this doll that had sold for like $9.99. More than likely, I didn't check how if there's any sold. She's like the 19 or 20 inch doll. But again, I may list it like I did the other one. $49.95, um, maybe a little less depending on what other people have it listed for just because of the spot right there on her nose. I might try very carefully to get it off. I'm not sure. But just a lesson learned. Don't. Yes, you need to check comps. But if there's not very many, definitely go to Terra Peak and see if you can see any others that may have sold for a whole lot more. Like my doll. I think $46 for that doll was an excellent sell. But look how cute. All right, did you find anything? Depending on which words I used, because I couldn't find that exact one, anywhere from 40 to 175 but I couldn't find that exact one. Yeah, it's going to be a booger, though, because that's going to end up being an oversized box. But I think in this case, it needs to stay in, in that box to keep its value. I'm hoping 100 or so for it, but we'll see when I finally get down to doing my own research. I don't right. think I saw any in the box. So. Oh, so there. Maybe it's $200. I would love that right now. All right, this is finishing up back-to-back -back videos. So you may end up seeing two videos um, with me in the same shirt because I didn't do a wardrobe, wardrobe change. But I think we got a lot we shared with you today. I'll try to get these comps this week, get these videos out for you so... Um, It'll be very current, and you can see what we're buying, but definitely also check my what solds. You know, that's where the rubber meets the road, right? It shows you that the things that I purchase do sell. Maybe it might take a little while, but they do sell, and I'm okay with that. You got one of those phrases right. What? Rubber meets the road? Yeah, you said, I, I, you know, you're, my brain is faster <laughs> than I'm, you know, and, and in the back of my brain, I'm hearing your rubber meets the, and my brain is already going, I wonder what the rubber's going to meet because it's probably going to be like palette or spaghetti or something the way you <laughs> use phrases. Darn to disappoint you. Glad to see you got one right to change. <laughs> All right, bye.